Hello everybody. So in this video, we're going to look at the watershed algorithm. Now you might encounter this problem when you are segmenting objects. Um, so the image here shows multiple disks that are touching each other. And you can see that when we mask it, um, we get a whole bunch of connected true regions. Now, as you remember, when you use region props, uh, region prop treats every connected true region as a single object. And so all of this would be a single object as indicated by this magenta outline here. But what we really want to do is split these objects up so we get a whole bunch of different objects instead. Now we're going to do this by using an algorithm known as watershedding. So let's take a look at how the watershed algorithm works. The watershed algorithm takes an image as an input. The algorithm will treat the intensity value of each pixel in the image as its height. So the brighter the pixel, the higher it is. Now I'll explain more about how to obtain this image in the next video, but the important thing to know is that each object in the image must have a low intensity. Thinking again in terms of height, it means that each object must be a basin. So in this example here, we have three basins, three objects. Now imagine that it is raining. The basins will collect water and start to fill up. Eventually, two neighboring bodies of water will touch. The point of contact is marked as the ridge line. This ridge line is used to separate the objects, essentially marking the edges. Each individual body of water is then labeled as a different object. The steps for performing the watershed transform are number one, segment your objects of interest and generate a mask. Number two, convert the mask into an intensity profile using the distance transform. Number three, run the watershed algorithm. Number four, update the original mask. We'll see how to do this in the next video.